Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Modern Warfare 2 gear up video. In today's video, we're going to be replicating the BNT APC 556. This is a brand new weapon in Modern Warfare 2 as I, as I make this video, and it's called the ISO Hemlock, but in real life, it's actually the BNT APC 556. So, we're going to be replicating it just off of their website, uh, off of the official uh, manufacturer. So let's get into it guys. The only extra thing here I'll talk about later, but there's an extra thing on here that's not on the site. So let's go ahead and take a look at it first. Unfortunately guys, there's going to be no weapon tuning in this video because I have to do this in private match. I have the gun in multiplayer, but it's not fully leveled up yet and it's going to take some time. So I wanted to get in here and quickly make some videos for you guys before uh, you know before anything else so there's a big gap in the mag wall there and I'm assuming that's for the conversion which we'll do later so it's very very nice all right so let's go ahead and get into it so right off the bat we're gonna move to optics here we're gonna be using the Corbis downrange now this is not the exact optic they use and again I say this in all my Modern Warfare 2 gear videos guys it is not 100% replicated from real life as to what it's you know what is actually used because Modern Warfare 2 kind of changes up the way the attachments look for I guess licensing purposes and copyright purposes so a lot of things may look off uh, this optic specifically is not even what they use at all I believe they use a high-rise mount and like an MRDS on top of this thing I can't really remember uh, but I know it's not this optic but it kind of looks like it so I decided to run with it and moving on to the stock here, we're going to be using the RES-2, which is actually almost like the stock that it's supposed to come with. The game makes this a default for some reason. I don't know why, but this is the original stock that the weapon is supposed to come with, or firearm, I should say. Moving down to the rear grip, we're going to be using the Sacken ZX grip. Now, the reason for this is, again, they don't use the right grip in the game um, from real life so we're gonna have to go with the Sacken which kind of looks more natural and more like an AR-15 pistol grip um, so it, mainly because of the angle it's at so we're gonna be rolling with that and go into the underbarrel we're gonna be using the OP X9 foregrip this foregrip is just a personal preference uh, the last two attachments here it's all personal preference. As long as you have the main three attachments here, the optic, the stock, and the rear grip, it will look like the BNT APC 556. These two attachments here are completely optional. I just want to fill up the five slot, and I wanted to kind of add extra preference. So again, muzzle brake, we're gonna be rolling, rolling with the X10 Havoc, which is mainly for horizontal recoil and vertical. All right guys, so as usual, I'm gonna let you guys listen to it, watch it. I'm gonna do some animations with it. And then we'll talk about it and do a quick little headshot test. All right, let's do our mounted headshot tests. So first of all, this new update is fantastic. I'm glad they updated the UI. Made it look very, very nice and crisp. But let's go ahead and do this. So, got 10 meters, 25 right here, and 50. So three shots to the head all around. I don't know how that's gonna play in Warzone or multiplayer yet. Uh, in multiplayer, this thing is pretty damn powerful and it's fun to use, but in Warzone, I don't know about those headshots. Uh, that's pretty strong. <laughs> of course, recoil is manageable, so awesome freaking weapon here. I'm very excited they brought in something fresh, and uh, you know, this is a great choice because it's never been in any other COD before or in any other game, to be honest. I don't think the BMP, or sorry, the BNT is very famous in any game. 
Um, I know the uh, APC 9, I believe, is pretty popular in uh, one of the games. And I think the last Modern Warfare had it as well in a 45 ACP conversion, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the 556 variant, I think, was only in this game. So it's really nice to see. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned. I'm going to be bringing more variants of this exact weapon. So uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And, of course, the shotgun will come later on, but I need to unlock that as well. So I didn't unlock that one yet. All right, guys. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed.